bucket line. The site of a terrorist attack, the aftermath of a tsunami or an earthquake. Disasters, yes, but also opportunities for scientists, like sociologist Trisha Wachendorf, who goes to devastated places to learn how lives may be saved in the future. We try to learn from disasters, both make a contribution to science, but also find out how we can apply that to better emergency management practice. With support from the National Science Foundation, teams from the Disaster Research Center at the University of Delaware observe and interview victims and rescue workers during and after a crisis. Their work has led to better recovery and handling of human remains, improved accounting of donations and supplies, and it has helped small businesses quickly reopen. Wachendorf embedded with first responders after the 9-11 attacks to watch what unfolded. They lost friends, they lost family members, and they were very willing to have us shadow them, answer questions, and to actually say, come here, you need to hear this, you need to learn from this, and tell us what's going right and what's going wrong. Ordinary people can be crucial in disaster response. Wachendorf and colleague James Kendra studied the evacuation of half a million people fleeing lower Manhattan that day, including quick work by tug and ferry boat captains. And that's largely, uh, I think, stems from a lot of what seafarers have to do ordinarily, which is to be creative, to be improvisational, even if you don't know exactly what the danger is going to be. The findings of these disaster researchers help experts design better evacuation strategies. And engineering research done at the center helps authorities set better building codes in areas prone to disasters, like tsunamis and hurricanes. A lot of what I focus on and what engineers focus on is mitigation that's sort of a long, long way ahead of the event. We know hurricanes are going to keep happening, and so what we need to do is build a stronger infrastructure so that we avoid the damage in the first place. The ultimate goal? To make sure lessons learned in a crisis aren't forgotten and are put to work helping others when inevitably disaster strikes again. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.